G'day folks, it's Rob here. I uh, just really wanted to uh, wish you all a very merry and happy Christmas, holidays, hogs watch, however you like to celebrate this time of year. And I do hope you get to have a few days off and hopefully spend them with some family and friends if you're lucky enough. Um, yeah, we're just going to be staying at home now. What I thought I would do is just give you a little bit of a look at a roundup clip I shot for the supporters yesterday, uh, just on how bits and pieces in the system are going. And then I'll give you a look at some spuds that I found in the pantry. Ended up taking the um, last of the cabbages out of here. And there was one over there that was eaten all the way through. I didn't get a photo of it, sorry. I chopped him up and sent him down the back. Um, but the rest of them, uh, we got three nice, I say nice tennis ball size or larger from this one here. Once we took off the caterpillar affected leaves, had a bunch of those cluster caterpillars come in from out of nowhere. Uh, the spray mustn't have been hitting the leaves that they were feeding on. Uh, but I did find a number of them and yeah, they all went for a bit of a trip into the fish tank and didn't last very long at all. Uh, the lettuce that I sprinkled over the top there from that coral looking lettuce, um, that went to seed over the top, over the end there. That's starting to sprout through. I was planning on running down and grabbing some beetroot seedlings to put in here, and I just ran out of time the other day, and I just realised I left the potassium bicarbonate over here earlier. Um, yeah, so not a lot's going on there at the moment. I did put the pH on, and we're sitting at 7.1, so yeah, I did give it <laughs> quite a kick with the potassium before. We'll come to you guys in a minute, fishies. These stickies aren't getting as many fruit flies as they were before. I don't know if there aren't as many around. I have noticed that the fruit that is forming on here at the moment isn't getting stung. So whether there's just been a little bit of a change in the weather and um, yeah, they aren't really coming in here and stinging the fruit or whatnot, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, very glad that these guys here um, have caught a fair amount and I can still only see the two original beneficial ladybugs in there. Now uh, the sweet potato is what I wanted to show you. I've been down here every couple of days burying these leaders. This one here wants to go over the back. But yeah, these leaders, what I'm doing is basically just pushing them down, trying to work, their, work them through the bed. Two hands does work better. Um, but yeah, just trying to work them through the bed so they'll cascade over the end here. Um, and I just broke a tip off, that doesn't matter. Push that down. And this one here, I'll do the same thing uh, when I'm not holding the camera. But yeah, just trying to get them to um, grow over the end here. And we'll see if that um, theory works, like what happened on Home Farm Ideas or Matt's channel, and see if we can get some tubers set in the beds. Um, yeah, these guys are just going to stay in here a little bit longer. Took off a couple of leaves the other day. And the nasturtiums are pretty much all going gangbusters. Just come around this side. The other um, sweet potato is doing uh, really well. It's put on a load of growth. The water chestnut leaves there, leaves. Um, yeah, it's put on a load of growth out the side here as I wanted. And we also have some more action with these gingers. The second one has sprouted and the first one has sprouted another one. So pretty happy with that. And strangely enough, no more algae issues in here. Funny what an extra um, inch or two of water, I mean clay will do. The radial flow settler got uh, cleaned out the other day and I put a load of solids in there, as you do. I also fed it a little bit differently this time. I put in about a quarter of a cup of Rapidura, which is a mineral rich sugar, as well as about a quarter of a cup of the rock minerals. I won't keep adding the rock minerals in all the time, but I did this time. And yeah, hopefully that's just going to boost the bacteria numbers. And as those numbers boost, make more um, organic elements plant available. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the amount of food these fish are eating at the moment, I don't think, uh, yeah, probably around about Wednesday. What's today? Friday. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll give these guys another clean out. Um, we'll toss some feed in. So there we go, that's about half a cup-ish. And I can guarantee you that's not going to last very long at all. And I dare say I will get wet. But yeah, they're, they're feeding really well. Uh, the water temp, uh, just to give you some idea, is roughly around about 26 degrees at the moment. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is in Fahrenheit, probably that up there. Uh, so these guys are definitely going through the feed. Uh, the amount I've been putting in is pretty much well just um, one of these a day, half in the morning and half at night. I know it's probably a little bit under what they'd normally get, uh, but as I don't want them to grow too big yet because I'd like to um, start some of them off in the system down the back, I thought I'd just cut on, back on the feed for a little while. And we will be harvesting some of these mid to late January. 
and I'm thinking about using the fishing rod method. Um, a mate was talking about it the other day and it makes a lot more sense. You just put, you know, a little bit of bait in there. Uh, the largest, the most ferocious fish generally feeds at the top from what I've noticed and hopefully um, he'll hit it or she'll hit it and we'll be able to take it out without stressing out the rest of the fish. Because yeah, trying to chase them down around the bottom of the tank um, can be rather hard with a full tank of water in there. So before we go and look at the spuds, I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at the fish. Look at that. He's always up the top there waiting for a feed. So we'll throw some food in. Um, some that I've actually prepared earlier. They're getting a bit of a, a bit more for breakfast this Christmas morning. They're getting about three quarters of a cup um, rather than the normal half a cup. And it doesn't take them long to polish it off at all. See if we can get a bit of a look at the fish for you. So yeah, really happy how these guys are going. Uh, just quickly, uh, while we're at it, uh, for you folks who um, forgot to buy a present for your Aquacurious um, family or friend, uh, just a quick reminder, I do offer the um, guide now, Beginner's Aquaponics Guide, as a gift. So you can click on that little link up there. And then from there, you can check out how the guide works. Uh, pop on over to the Retrieve website and buy it as a gift, or maybe for yourself. That's enough of that. Uh, we'll nip on upstairs and I'll show you um, what I filmed this morning making some potato salad. So folks, here's something that I think is very interesting. These are the spuds. If you go back through the video, you'll be able to see these guys um, that were harvested from the aquaponics pouches. Uh, there was a soil, a clay one, and a coconut coil one. These are the um, potatoes that were harvested. And my original thought was I just wanted to keep these small ones uh, for a couple of months until it cools down or try to. And we've been keeping them in a cool, dark sp um, spot. And as you can see, these guys have held up really, really well. This is about the only green one I can find. It's got a bit of a green tinge to it there. Uh, the rest of these guys, all the big ones, we're going to use today. I've already started peeling one um, for a potato salad for our Christmas lunch. And a lot of these small ones, the reason I was keeping these, you can see they've already started to sprout, was to try and save them so we could um, plant them out towards the end of summer, maybe February, March, when things start to cool down a little bit to see if we could get another crop from these guys. Um, the main point of this video is I'm just surprised how well they've kept. It's well over a month and yeah, no sign of sprouting like you would normally get from the store-bought spuds that are nice and washed and cleaned and in a plastic bag. Um, so, and these guys were grown from those very same store-bought spuds. So yeah, just thought I'd um, give you a look at this. And if you do want to check out how these guys were planted and also um, the harvest themselves, there will be a little bit of an aquaponic playlist pop up there and will also be one at the end. But anyway, uh, just a little bit of a um, video just to show you guys how impressed I am with these aquaponic spuds. So yeah, that really surprised me how long those potatoes have lasted. I would have expected them to go green a lot sooner than that. Um, so yeah, we're having potato salad, homegrown potato salad with some of the chives from behind me here, some basil from upstairs. We like to have our own homegrown bacon, but our property's a little bit too small. Um, yeah, and yeah, we're just gonna have a quinoa salad, a bit of a roast chook and a cold roast chook and ham. Nothing spectacular. Oh, and for dinner, uh, the cabbages that you saw earlier in the clip. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, Kira is going to make us some Okonomiyaki, which is a pancake for dinner tonight. A little bit different than your traditional um, Chrissy dinner here in Australia. But uh, she's probably going to get up me for butchering the pronunciation of that word as well. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just a, a pancake and you put um, chopped sausage or ham in it and... Um, um, cabbage and bits and pieces like that so Kira is really into her Japanese and Korean food so yeah looking forward to that and I think Bianca said we're finishing off with pancakes and ice cream so basically the diet's out the window for one day this year or at least one meal um, but yeah I uh, hope you have really enjoyed the videos that have been coming to the channel this year uh, we are still on a little bit of a downtime um, recycling some footage I've shared with um, supporters and hopefully probably about end uh, or mid January to the end of January next year we will have some videos coming on the aquaponics uh, tonight's video or sorry tomorrow's video will be tonight for supporters but tomorrow's video will be looking at Barney's aquaponic system g'day Barney and family um, Barney's got an aquaponic system but due to health issues he hasn't been able to complete it so he had me down there doing a bit of a consultation so that will be tomorrow's video the normal um, time on Sunday if you want to suss that out before I go I really would like to thank you all for coming along this year and sussing out the channels and sharing the useful ones around with your family and friends and your aquaponics groups. I really do appreciate it. Special thanks has to go out to those folks who are continuing to support us on the YouTube membership program and our own uh, Patreon-like supporters page, Farm Your Own Yard, 
Thank you very much for the ongoing support, folks. But I will pretty much well leave it there. Um, I will see you tomorrow night, or you'll see me tomorrow night in a new video. So there you go, folks. Happy Christmas, holidays, hog watch, and I will catch you later. Cheers, and happy growing.